Hello guys, I'm happy to announce that I almost fixed my studio so you can see it looks very similar to what I had a couple months ago. We have the same uh, black drop sheets and uh, oh, Desmond logo thingy and all lights around me. I hope it's enough. I think I probably will benefit a couple more to get the picture more brighter than it is, but I hope it works. But anyways, the story I'd like to tell to you, I think some of you might relate to yourself. So when we moved, we discovered or rediscovered a lot of stuff from activities that our business had a while ago because the company almost 12 years old. And uh, one thing that I found in the very dark corner of old office was uh, power supply that was used to test telecom equipment. Some of you know that telecom quite often works on DC power, not AC power as we used to in our houses. So like Cisco switches or phone equipment, um, long haul optical stuff, quite often around the 48 volts and required quite powerful power source. So anyway, so I have here a little bit old, but still working. Uh, Hewlett Packard 1000 watt power supply, DC power supplies that can push as much as I believe uh, 70, yeah, 70 volts, 16 amps, um, no PC stuff coming any close, so we can smoke anything we want. And uh, well, what's happen when guy finds something powerful? Any ideas? Well, obviously how I can use it. And not much I can use it because I have uh, almost no uh, serious equipment left in the office. So starting thinking well, how I can use it. Our idea come to my mind is we always undervolt fans on our radiators and stuff like this. That what happens if we overvolt fans and how much fan will take it all. Um, so that's a kind of stupid thing that a lot of guys experience and I'm no exception. From the rule. One thing I would like to tell you, I'm I'm kind of have a controlled environment here. Um, don't try to burn your house, and this is not a tutorial of any sort, and we just have some fun, and I don't even know what's coming out of it, but you know, we try to put some serious voltage on uh, certain things and we'll see what happens. That's all we're going to do. So bear with me and uh, let's start playing with the things. Okay guys, let me show you what kind of setup, so to speak, I have here. This is my Hewlett Packard 1000 watt, uh, watt power supply that I talked about. A little pedestal so we can see how much voltage. Unfortunately it's not digital, so we have analog uh, indicators, but we can figure out what is 12 volts and what is 20 volts and things like this. And um, I have a number of fans. Um, I just fix it with this not very scientific type of um, piece of hardware so it doesn't flew, um, fly away from me. And uh, I'm actually trying to figure out what kind of RPMs uh, we can get uh, starting going over than 12 volts. And um, that's what happened. Uh, don't be surprised, the thing is a little bit noisy. bunch of fans inside because it's uh, you know powerful powerful device so first thing I would like to do uh, let me quiet it for a second uh, first thing I would like to do um, let's make some bets we can run as high as 70 volts here and this is 12 volts fan so take a piece of paper pause video if you need put some number I have no idea myself what voltage this thing will blow up. 20 volts, 25 volts, 30, we will run on 70, no problem, I don't know, although I doubt it. Of course I understand that uh, if we, we do test relatively quick, so the thing takes time to heat up, but just for the sake of the, you know, entertainment purposes. You know, make your guess and uh, let's try to do it. Ready? I have my safety goggles, so prescription glasses will be fine here. 
and uh, let's go all right so i need to add some amps here which trigger some voltage as well as you can see and um, okay so I'll try to do it so let's put it in 12 volts and see what the, this fan is waiting for this is sh version which is a uh, yaitalun promise that it will spin about 2400 so let's try to put 12 volts okay kind of 12 volts uh 18 7 1800 so it's uh i don't know it's either fan doesn't do what's supposed to do or um Indications not very right, but uh, well, let's put 14 volts. No, doesn't change much. 1900, not big deal. Anyways, so let's see, getting hot. Ah, uh, no, not really. So 12 volt starting point. Okay, taking bets. How many walls were burning? One, two, three. Okay, I just increasing it relatively slow. You look on the indicator and we'll see when um, smoke is start coming out. Ooh. That's it. 20 volts is dead. Oh my God. No fun. I probably did it too slow. Doesn't. It doesn't even burn. Um, well, okay. Let's see if we can start it again. It's some sort of protection maybe worked out. No, doesn't work. Um, okay. Not much. No fun. So, all right. We'll leave it for that. Next test, I would like to do totally stupid stuff, don't judge me. Uh, I wonder, what will we go out first? Um, LEDs or fan will shut down? I think LEDs will burn first, but I don't know. What do you think? Who got knows? All right. Okay, we leave this body. Maybe it's cool off a little bit. Yeah, it's warm. Uh, maybe I'll try to start it again later. All right. I hope you can see it on the second cam. All right. What do we have? Nothing. What? Oh. Okay. My RPM cable fell off. So I can't even see it. So you can. I will look later and see uh, what kind of what kind of speed um, I got out of it. This doesn't look like 1200. Oh, this all the things screwed up. But anyway, ah uh, ha ha. Okay. Nice, nice and blue. So what? What, what do we have? Um, 1450s, kind of. And um, let's try to smoke it faster. And you guys watch what's happened with the thing. 40, 50! Woo! No idea what was the speed of the fan, but uh, I think it was 50 before it burned. Not bad. Okay. Totally dumb, but I want to try if this fan is. Uh, Can can get started again or not? No, 
now we can burn it without inflicting any fire uh, but it doesn't work Uh, well, let's do one more. We have 3000 RPM that I work, and it's transparent. And uh, so we might see something here. This is a little bit powerful fan, so I hope it will not fly anywhere. Oh, and we need to figure out the power portion as well. Uh -huh. Oh, I need to cut this cable so I can power up this thing. So bear with me. This body no help for us anymore. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. And, uh, and like this. Ooh, that's fast. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, wall supposed to have 3,000. Oh, no. I don't have anything. Where's my cable? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think I report anything correctly here because supposed to have 3,000 RPM here. The connection so bad. Uh, Okay, now I think I show something, right? 2000 or so. How this controller shows the same number all the time? I don't know. Alright. Stupid. Alrighty, I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, not enough arms. Okay. Need like three arms probably. What is showing? 1800? Oh, there's a lot of wind. Call it. Uh, a little bit. We smoked it, but not much. Anybody know this was voltage worth? I think about 20, about 30. Well, nothing spectacular came out of it. I hope for some fire, it didn't happen. Maybe for good. But this blood thingy. Woo! Finally! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I got what I wanted. Whoa, that smells bad. <coughs> That's all for today. Hey guys, bonus material. I powered up this LED fan. You see three LED is still okay. Spite of anything. Um one is dead, so I wonder what voltage required to smoke it. Oh, about 40 I think? Yeah. That's it. 
enough.